Well, so to begin with, why don't we watch a talk show which was organized by Highland Dawn Media and listen to what the participants have to say. Today, in our fast-growing society, we have many, many young people everywhere who are asking questions on this most important topic and choice that they need to make on dating and the selection of a life partner. And with regard to such issues as dating, men and women, and love and morality, the present generation has had to grow up very, very early. And I think the pressures and challenges that this generation has to face, that the young people today have to face, are very different from what their parents had to face. No, many, many young people are confused, especially uh, with all this media, uh, things like Bollywood and Hollywood. We have the MTV, we have the internet, all bombarding, sending messages to, different types of messages to young people. There's definitely a lot of pressure today. Voices on one hand that say that says go for it, just do it, just run your own life, just just you are in charge of your life. That's one voice. On the other hand, we have a still small voice that says wait for it, because it's meant to be beautiful. So what, what do we do with all these pressures that are there for us as we face them today? Now, just to start our show this afternoon, why don't we ask uh, or start off with the first question, and that is. What are the types of datings that you observe in your colleges where you study or schools or your localities where you live? Is the dating really serious or just some part-time type of just fun and forget, forget it? What do you observe on this? If you can tell us something. Okay, in mostly area like I could see a boy and girl dating. Uh, with that, um, they understand more. And then myself out here, my friend Malo and myself, um, it might be funny, but in the evening, both of us we used to date, and just discuss about like uh, how the day was going, and then just discuss about the future also. Uh -huh. uh, that's very healthy, in fact. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what are some other practices that you observe in your locality or college where you study? I used to see many uh, students in my college, like uh, they used to stay. Uh, they used to bang the class, and then they used to go for dating, and that's not good because banging the class is not good. All right, all right. Thank you. And how about this group? Uh, what are some of the things that you observe in the colleges and the locality where you live? Yeah, dating is there in our college, obviously. And I see that there are some datings, like which uh, some relationships that last. And um, but mostly, what I observe is that uh, most relationships don't last. And young people, the most young people who uh, you know get into relationships they are insecure mm -hmm. some of them are insecure really and that is how they seek you know um, is dating really bad what's your opinion on this Sadri can tell us is dating really bad there is always a positive way by which we can use dating and there is also a negative way and uh, what I observe is that most of the young people they are uh, especially the Nagas we have been using many people young people are using dating as a uh, in the negative aspect and uh, I believe that we can there are many ways in which we can use dating positively we can try to uh, have a good relationship have, have a clean and pure relationship with one another so what you're saying is dating is all right it's okay yeah. it's not bad after all yeah it depends and on how, how we use it all right it yeah. depends on how you use it or what you do in those dates, uh, what about okay. you? In my opinion, uh, I would say like it's very wrong if you like you know if you date at a very early age. I think like before you enter into a relationship, you should find yourself. Mm -hmm. You should know who you are, and you should know like um, if you get into it, like you should know the consequences. You should know everything, and I think like um, as media has a lot to do with that, mm -hmm. and you know the way they portray like you know the way they portray like say like uh, sex, you know, like they do it in such a way that. You know, it's very exciting when you have sex before marriage. So, and I think like media, uh, everyone, they have this cable TV at home and so like they're influenced by it. And so I believe like if they are into it at this stage, I don't think it's going to, you know, I don't think it's right. I think they'll do the wrong thing. All right. And so in my opinion, I think it's very wrong. All right, thank you very much. And right there we have two answers. One says dating is good. 
One says it's bad. So how about our parents? What do you say on this? Is dating really bad or can we encourage both? I think it depends on how you, how you date. We have no other means of entertainment. And so most young people, when they date, they go to a remote place, sit together, and then spend time together, and that's what we call date. Mm -hmm. But if we look at date in such a way, then what those young people were saying, um, it is not healthy. Mm -hmm. But then looking at the other way of dating, mm -hmm. like going to a concert or you know, some other places where other people are, mm -hmm. then I think such kind of dating is healthy. Like dating is not bad so long as it is healthy. Mm -hmm. And I would also like to add that the kind of uh, dating and boy girls relationship that I see in my locality is usually confined to maybe walking around in the locality mm -hmm. or some other places or uh, visiting friends and relatives. So long as it is confined to that, I don't think it's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, they get to know each other and you know, they get more exposure also. And that way they will learn about life also. Mm -hmm. And one thing I see in this kind of relationship is that it is not that kind of relationship where it, which is permanent or for real, you know. Mm -hmm. They lack that seriousness in them. Maybe they want to be in the trend. Maybe mm -hmm. friends are having, so why not I? Or mm -hmm. they are having, so why not I? That kind of attitude maybe. Mm -hmm. I thought dating is good. Another lady friend who said no. no. Uh, to that question, you have given a very good answer, that is to keep it healthy. There are healthy ways of doing it. But I think before we go any further, it is also, it will be nice if you can give us some more healthy suggestions on people who want to date. I'm sure there are many out there. Why don't we uh, throw in some more things before we go up to the next point? Any, any more? Doctor, we'd like to add something. I think one of the good things are our, I would say our ancestors, we still have it today in the villages, is that um, when a young guy wants to meet a girl, um, he goes with his friends to the girl's house. Mm -hmm. you know, and then he sits with them, uh, talks with them. And they learn about each other. A very healthy way of uh, getting to know people, actually, which was practiced by people um, before all this uh, Western culture mm -hmm. of you know, uh, dating came along. I would say uh, we have a very traditional society. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a lot of good traditional methods of meeting people. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the good Western, uh, uh, I think, uh, form of dating is going out, not in, as a single group, just one male and one female, but as a group. You know, a couple of males and females together. Mm -hmm. There is less chance of uh, something unhealthy coming into that sort of uh, mm -hmm. uh, a date. All right, thank you very much. I think that really answers in detail um, our discussion today on the, the on healthy ways of going about dating and I'm, I'm sure both of you are satisfied yeah all right i think before we go any further i think zalino has a little more to add yeah we've said that dating can either be good or bad and i think just drifting along is not enough dates should eventually lead to maybe mate selection or marriages you know and um i think when we date, I think we, keep, we need to keep in mind that there are certain things that, that we can develop in a healthy way. Like you get to know someone else, you, yeah, you can have genuine friendships when you go dating. So that's one thing I think that we, need, we can keep in mind. So I think it's a very good time to ask on what we think individually on this regard. Marriage as arranged or love? Which one would you prefer? I believe that um, once you come to you know know that person and if that person is good and if it's God fearing, mm -hmm. I believe like I'll gradually come to love him and so like I think it's more safe in an arranged marriage for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And how about you? Mm, I'll go for a love marriage. Malo, what do you what do you say on this? Tell I'll us. I prefer love marriage because I think like uh, our friend said after marriage. We are going to, uh, we'll, we'll know each other very well. Uh, mm -hmm. Some arranged marriages are like, uh, both, both the partners are lucky. So in a way, if you enter an arranged marriage, you, you better be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but I prefer really love marriage. Okay. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's it. How about Arini? Tell us on this. Okay, for me, love marriage. Because like, we'll be spending uh, for a lifetime. And then um, from ahead, we'll be knowing each other 
and understand each other more. What are some type of qualities that you look in a guy? I mean, your guy. Okay, he should be matured, a God-fearing person, All right. and he should have positive ideas towards life. He should be sociable, and of course, he should be handsome. <laughs> All right, so handsome is important for you. <laughs> but at least, <laughs> at least he should have some looks. All right, how about if he had no money? <laughs> you still go for beauty? No, no. I mean, uh, I mean to say he should be. Firstly, he should be matured, and he should be financially stable also. All right, that's <laughs> good. So, man, you wanna look out. Well, that was a section of young people giving their views on dating and marriage. Up next, we have the students of Baptist College Kohima talking to Aaron Senla on relationship and dating. Right now I am at Baptist College and with me I have some young students who will be giving your opinions on relationship and dating. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, I'm from Highland Down Media. As a young student, uh, it's often natural for us to fall in love. So do you think it's necessary for us to go for relationship if we fall in love? Uh, as for me, I, I think that it's not that necessary for us to have relationship if we fall in love. But it differs from person to person. As a teenage, we uh, tend to fall in love. Um, but, it, but mostly we find out that it's natural infatuation only. So as I said earlier, uh, I think it's not that necessary for us to fall in, uh, have a relationship if we fall in love. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, sometimes it may also so happen that you fall in love or the other persons love you. So, the, uh, do you get pressure from your friends to uh, go for dating or to go for premarital relationship? Okay, it, o it often happens that we do tend to get pressure from our friends as long as it's concerned with our love relation, as long as, as we love that person. But uh, as far as it is concerned, premarital relationship, it's out of question. Many people, uh, young people, uh, they think that uh, they should go for dating only they cross after the age of 21 years. Do you agree? What's your opinion regarding that? According to me, uh, the age doesn't matter <coughs> whether they go for it or not. It rather depends on the concept of the individual, the couples, or whether they can be truthful, truthful and, and responsible to one another. Uh, but do you find any problem in the dating relationship here in our state? Here, uh, according to me, the, the concept of dating is uh, too narrow here. Uh, in, in our context, we fail to understand the essence, uh, the reason for the dating, and that's why we face chaos. And uh, of course, we ended in deep waters. Here, the young people face uh, many tough situations like. Uh, we didn't have many continental places like uh, theaters or parks, amusement parks, uh, so that we can meet together and have a healthy fun. The young Americans, they say that the dating relationship is all very messed up. So what do you think? The relationship, the dating relationship here in Nagaland is healthy, unhealthy? I want to state that uh, I want to be positive about this answer that in Nagaland it is healthy. We don't find uh, like uh, disco decks, bars or anything which can hamper the relationships of our youngsters. Then uh, what do you think of a healthy relationship between two people? Is it risky to go out alone on single couple dates? I don't know about the others but for me a couple should have uh, trust and understanding, like my friend here said, look of you said, there is no amusement park or discotheque and all. But I think for a healthy relationship, these all are not needed. A couple should have trust and understanding, which is most important, so that they can proceed on with your relationship. And as far as a couple dating is concerned, I think 
it's not that risky as long as they know their responsibilities and their motive is right. Then uh, once again, I'd like to repeat that caution on the pressure of our friends to date or to go for premarital relationship, which is becoming quite popular and at the same time, it is becoming a menace for our society. What do you say to that? Actually, from a point of view, we young people don't get much pressure from our peer groups. Uh, we are not singled out. We are not made fun of just because we, we do not get a or girlfriend or boyfriend, or just because we do not have a dad. Uh, in recent countries, there's a, it's a sort of trend to uh, have a relationship or to have a, a premarital partners, which is an exception in our city. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, answers. It was good to hear from you. Welcome back. Up next, we have a very interesting segment in which our very own host, Teja Meru, talks to some young people on their preferences for either arranged marriage or love marriage. Abu. At present, my, I'm a student of Nagaland University Agri College. Oh. What is your idea of a perfect girl in your life? What she should be? What, according to you? To me, a perfect girl should be a feminine right. lady. Okay, feminine. Uh, is uh, dress important to you? Somehow. Okay, so dress is not very important to you, like. Femininity is more important to you, yeah? yeah. <laughs> and then, in your, what would you opt for? Arranged marriage or love marriage? What do you believe in? To me, it should be... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> hard to say, yeah? Love also, arranged also. <laughs> so, both works well for you. Yeah. Both work, works well for you. Yeah. All right. What is love to you? How, would you? how would you define love? Your opinion. Love to me is a circle. That's never ends. All right, thank you. Beautiful punchline. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Tell us, uh, presently, what you're doing in Kohima? Like? Presently, I'm doing my computer in NIT right now. And since it's uh, Valentine's Day, we just want to <laughs> ask you a few questions. Uh, um, what's your idea of a perfect lady in your, in your life? What's your idea? Like, what would you expect from a lady? I guess <laughs> she should be feminine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she should be a Naga girl. That's all. She should be a Naga girl. You're very particular on that. Huh? <laughs> Is there anything you would like to tell all your other friends in Kohima on, this, on the topic of love? Yeah, I, I want to wish them a very happy Valentine's Day to all of them. Thank you very much. All right, hi, and uh, it's good to see all of you. First, I just want to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. I just want to ask, um, what is your idea of a perfect guy? Okay, um, I mean, like, it's very difficult to get a perfect guy. But what I look in, um, what the qualities that I would look in a man? Okay, that first thing is that he should be he should be caring, that and then he should know my ups and downs because many guys are insensitive. So like, I'll go for a sensitive guy. Uh, being sensitive is really one of the qualities that you look for in a guy. Uh, and uh, anything else? Yeah, compatibility is most important, I think, because unless you are compatible, it's very difficult. So that's what I need. So. What's your idea of a 
or the qualities that you look for in a guy? Well, he should be, uh, you know, educated. He should speak good English. Uh, should have a good mind. All those things. And, uh, and does he need to know to cook too? That it's okay. I can do it for him. <laughs> So what are some ways that men could be sensitive to women? What are so, what some of your suggestions? Caring of children and looking after them, taking them to school or teaching them at home. All this, the male also should contribute something to that. We hope that all the young people watching this episode have learned something useful about the importance of making the right choices, especially when it comes to the area of dating. A good and wise choice leading to a lifetime of happiness and care and love. A bad one or a hasty one to a lifetime of regrets. Yes, that's true. But sadly, viewers, that's all we have for you today. But be sure to tune in again next week, same time, same channel. Until then, take care. Mm -hmm.